Hello, in today's tutorial, we look at uh, freezing point uh, depression. When a solute is dissolved in a solvent, the freezing point of the solution is lower than that of the pure solvent. The vapor pressures of ice and liquid water are the same at zero degrees Celsius. Let's look at this example on how we can calculate the mass of ethylene glycol. Molar mass 62.1 gram per mole. The main component of antifreeze must be added to 10 kg water to produce a solution in a cast radiator that freezes at negative 25.5 degrees Celsius. Assume the density of water is exactly 1.00 gram per milliliter. Kf for ethylene glycol is 1.86 degrees Celsius kg per mole. Solution. The formula for freezing point depression is analogous to that for boiling point elevation. Delta T is equal to Kf m solute where delta t is the freezing point freezing point depression or the difference between the freezing point of the solvent and that of the solution kf is molar freezing point depression constant M solute is the molality molality of the solute we can now calculate delta T in this case the freezing point of the solvent water is zero, zero degrees Celsius, and that of the solution is negative 25.5 degrees Celsius. This will give us positive. So we have 25.5 degrees Celsius. Then now we use the delta T to calculate the molality of the solute. We now make M solute the subject of the formula. M solute is equal to delta T of uh, Kf, which is equal to our delta T is 25.5 degrees Celsius over Kf 1.86 degrees Celsius kg per mole. The degree Celsius cancel. When we divide, we we'll get 13.7 mole per kg. This is our molality. We know that molality of the solute is equal to more solute over kg solvent. In this case, our molality is 13.7 mole per kg, which is equal to more solute. So we have moles of ethylene glycol moles of ethylene glycol over kg of solution we have 10.0 kg of water so to find the moles of ethylene glycol we we'll cross multiply moles of ethylene glycol will equal to molality 13.7 more per kg times 10 0 kg the kgs will cancel then we have 137 moles of ethylene glycol will you will now use the moles of ethylene glycol to calculate the mass we know that moles is equal to mass of a molar mass moles is equal to mass of a molar mass 
mass of ethylene glycol or equal to moles, which is 137 moles, times molar mass. The molar mass given 62.1 gram per mole. The moles will cancel, we multiply, then we'll get 8.5 times 10 to the power 3 grams, or rather 8.5 kgs of ethylene glycol. So the mass of ethylene glycol needed is 8.5 kgs. So this is how we can calculate the mass of the solute, in this case ethylene glycol. We can also calculate the molar mass using the same procedure. In the next tutorial, we'll look at osmotic pressure. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.